Hello, my Cracker Jacks. Welcome to my Cracker Jack box. Kiki here coming at you with a uh, Kiki's comments, Kiki's whatever. I just feel like talking, so I thought I'd jump on here and say hello. Okay, so how's everybody doing? If you are a returning Cracker Jack, much love. If you're a brand new Cracker Jack, much love to you. We love everybody here. If you're brand new, if you could hit that subscribe button, maybe turn that notification bell to all. I'm a Hot Miss Express. You never know when I'm going to drop a video. I never know when I'm going to drop a video. Just saying. Anyway, I also have a Cracker Jack box. Yes, I do. And once a month, I send a lucky Cracker Jack uh, a bag full of goodies. Just because I feel like it. And uh, yeah, maybe next month it could be you. Want to know how you get into the Cracker Jack box? You send me your name, your address, and your email too. Kiki's Cracker Jack Box at gmail.com or you can head on over to Instagram, Kiki's Cracker Jack Box, DM me, same information. Don't forget your birthday, your address, your name, and your email. Just saying. Anywho, so, okay. <clears throat> this video could end up being all over the place because I just turned the camera on and we're going to talk. So, um, let's see. First of all, I found a, in my suggestions kind of thing, a YouTuber named Sebastian. Now, um, his, his uh, channel will be linked below in my description box. Sebastian's kind of a, um, I guess you call him like a drama channel or like, he's been on YouTube for, for a minute and he's kind of tried out different things and the other day I happened upon one of his videos and he was like, I'm done. And so, you know, whenever I see anything like that, I always want to check, you know, check it out and see what it kind of is. Um, some people may call it clickbaity, but in this case, I don't think so because he was pretty, he was done. <laughs> so anyway, I was watching the video and he was kind of talking about the fact that he is done being the doormat. He's done being uh, the one that always calls first, always checks in on everybody else, um, always apologizing when there's nothing that he did wrong. And I was watching the video. <clears throat> first of all, it caught me on a day when um, I was feeling that way, kind of. And uh, so I was watching the video and he is hilarious at the same time. So he's like, he's like, bitch, please. And stuff like that. He's, he's awesome. I love him. Anyway, so um, he said he was tired of worrying about what people thought about his face, his arms, his weight, his whatever. And he goes, so I'm not going to do it anymore. I am fabulous the way I am. And I'm just going to be fabulous. I'm going to talk about what I want. I'm going to say what I want. And I was cracking up. I was laughing. And I thought, you know what? Yeah. Hell yeah. So I have to say for 2023, that is kind of going to be my mantra now. I'm going to do what I want when I want. Now, in saying that, I'm not being arrogant or anything of that nature. What I'm saying is I'm not going to wait until I put on a full face of makeup to get on here and talk to y'all. Or because see here, just here's what happens to me all the time. I have good plans when I first wake up from a nap because that's pretty much what I get. And um, I think you know what I'm gonna, I'm going to do my makeup. I'm gonna go live, or I mean, I'm gonna go on a video and I'm gonna do whatever, open a box or whatever, whatever. And I think you know what that's what I'm gonna do. And you know what happens? I think okay, you know what. I'm going to probably end up going live later or going, you know, on the, do my video later. So I don't really need to put on my makeup right now. So I push not only the makeup part, but then I push the video part. So then later I start thinking, you know, I, I don't have any makeup on. My face is too pale, blah, 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 blah. And I don't go live. Or I mean, I don't do a video. I don't know why I keep saying going live. Maybe I need to go live. Hey, anyway. And so I don't do anything. And it keeps getting pushed and it keeps getting pushed. And then I start feeling stressed out because I haven't put out a video or I haven't done any content or whatever. And so it's like this big snowball thing. And then the other thing too is 
I am not saying I'm not going to do unboxings and show you guys stuff and do product reviews and stuff like that. Because I will. I will. But I may not show every box I get. I know that's like... I, I, how many Timu orders do you need to see? Okay? I'm just saying. Like, every time I turn around, I look on, on my feed or whatever. Timu, Timu, Timu. Now, don't get me wrong. I love Timu. I got some crazy crazy awesome crap awesome stuff coming from uh from timu the orders are awesome but at the same time it's like do you need to see everything i get from timu do you want to see everything i get from timu and unboxings okay how many unboxings do we need to see of the same thing okay some boxings um, or some boxes don't have a variation like here's here's mine i love ice cream beauty okay i love the box i love the products i love the brand but it's always the same my ice cream beauty is gonna look the same as um uh, if let's see who else um miss jackie brussels and it's gonna look the same as gosh i'm trying to think who else get that um isn't that funny you get online or you get on a video and you can't remember nothing um Anyway, you get my dress, okay? BoxyCharm and Ipsy, yeah, I'm so fed up with them both as brands or whatever, boxes. I'm just done with that, too. Because, first of all, I was either getting all skincare or I was getting, like, not... The bags got lost. It was just enough. And the, the customer service was just it, entirely crazy. Then the other thing, too, is I started getting loaded down with stuff that I either can't use, don't want, or whatever. Now, I can only... I only have one face. I will admit, I am a I am a palette junkie. I'm sorry. I know it's there's no uh, what's the word? There's no um, meeting for people that are obsessed or love palettes. I'm just saying. I can't go up and say hi. Um, my name is Kiki, and I have like a gazillion palettes. Do you use them all? No, but I still have them. I'm a sucker for packaging. I just can't help it. Anyway, um, but my point is like. It's 2023, okay? And I know that it's nobody putting pressure on me right at this moment except for me. And I know that y'all like to watch the videos because you tell me you do. And then when I don't post a video or it's been a while, people will check on me, which I just adore y'all. I adore y'all. But it's like some of the stuff is I want to be excited about what I'm talking about, okay? And like I said, some of the stuff I get, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I want that. But then I think, do you need to see another Ice Cream Beauty Box unboxing from me? If you're friends with me, you're probably friends with Miss Jackie Russell, so you probably saw it on her channel. She does mainly unboxing. She doesn't get ready with me in collabs, but... And let's get to that. Okay, collabs. I like doing collabs. I do. But there have been so many collabs and I'm just like, I feel like, how can I live my life when I'm committed to all these collabs? And I don't mean that in a bad way. So please, please know that this is coming from just kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of an ironic video. It's like, you know, I started doing YouTube because I wanted to have a place that I could come and talk to y'all and, you know, share my thoughts, share my feelings, how I'm doing, whatever, whatever. Yeah, do some unboxings, maybe do some makeup stuff. I'm doing true crime, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. And I love all of that. And my channel's not going to change from that, okay? But what I'm saying is I'm going to do and talk about things that I want to do and talk about. And I'm not going to feel pressured to um, get the latest boxy charm because everybody else has one or whatever. First of all, finances, y'all. Let me let you in on a little clue here. Um, Social Security disability, it doesn't pay a lot. And even with the cost of living um, that's coming up here uh, for the January. Uh, yeah, so, so here's how it works for me, okay? Um, when I went on disability, I was working for a company and so I had long-term disability 
And then I applied for social security disability when I could not work there anymore. Okay. I couldn't do my job. I couldn't do any job with the skill set that I had. And so here's how it works. Okay. Long-term disability. And I'm just going to throw out numbers. They're not my numbers, but I'm just going to throw them out to give you an idea. Okay. So let's say my long-term disability was $500 that I got based on my salary. Okay. And social security when I was awarded that was $300. So, do you think I got 500 from long-term disability and 300 from Social Security? Uh, no. The long-term disability only paid what the social didn't. So, 300 of that, they don't have to pay me because Social Security is paying me. Okay. Now, that doesn't seem too bad because you're kind of getting the same um, money, right? However, here's the rub. This year is like the biggest um, cost of living um, increase Social Security has had, disability and everything. And, and when I say biggest, I mean percentage that they've given. Okay, so you would think, okay, the government's saying everything's too expensive, so we're going to give you a little bit more, right? right? That's the concept, right? <laughs> well, here's how it works for me. Uh, Long-term disability, yeah, they're going to take the additional cost of living that I get off of disability and they're going to take it out of what they're paying me. So literally I will never get a cost of living increase ever because <laughs> the long-term disability is just going to keep chiseling away at any additional amounts I get from anywhere else. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. So anyway, um, I just wanted to kind of give you guys an idea of what is happening. So, um, I was watching the news. Okay. So that's another thing. Cause you know, I shop, but I have to shop online. So I have my groceries delivered. <laughs> so usually what happens is after the first of the year, or I mean, I'm sorry, after Christmas, the first of the year, everything goes up, you know, five cents, a few pennies, whatever. Right. Nah, not now. Now, um, I was watching something where, uh, eggs were like $8 a dozen. And like my friend who used to go to the uh, store and she'd get like a big slab, which is usually I think like two and a half, like two and a half dozen or three dozen or I forget. Anyway, she used to pay six bucks for them. So it was a good value, right? Now she went to the, the thing and it was twenty four ninety nine, twenty five dollars $25 for eggs. What? Okay, and if you are trying to eat healthy, oh gosh, you better own Fort Knox because like everything is more expensive. Everything. Gallon of milk, gosh, man, I remember, and I feel old right now saying this, but it wasn't that long ago. I remember when milk was like 99 cents for a gallon. Do you know how much it is right now? Five twenty nine, I think. Dude, are the cows made out of gold? What? Okay, are they laying magical eggs? What? I'm just saying. So anyway, um, so yeah, that's kind of where I've been coming from. And then like right now, I have issues with uh, my teeth that are bothering me. I have issues with um, my lymphedema. I've got a lot of stuff going on. And my escape is YouTube. It's like the place I go. So that I don't have to think about all the crap I'm dealing with, okay? Now, I love to shop. I don't have a lot of money, but I do the best I can. So when I get stuff, I get excited about it. And some of the stuff I really want to show you, like, you know, the team order that I showed you guys, all the stuff that I showed you, that was pretty awesome, right? And then I figured out, this is so crazy, Timu doesn't... Um, they like, if you, let's say you have an order of $30, they may ship that out in five different packages, depending on where it's coming from and all that other stuff. So when I told you the $70, 68 80 or whatever, for the last video, I'm still getting packages from that stuff. So it's that, what I showed you, and then more stuff. So like, whoa. And the thing I like about Timu as well is one, when something's missing or they don't get here on time or whatever, they have really good customer service. And then on top of that, you get it a lot quicker than like you did Wish or um, something like that. Okay. So let's see. Um, hmm. So I think 2023, I've decided 
that, like everybody else, you know, I'd like to get a bunch of followers and I'd love to monetize and just whatever, whatever. But you know what? With the things that YouTube has been doing lately, I don't know. Like, there's a new policy, I guess. And I'm only talking um, from a uh, video that I saw. Actually, I've seen a couple of them. Where they were talking about new policies that YouTube has instituted. And one of the policies has to do with um, curse words. Now, for me, it's not really that big of a deal. Because I don't really curse that much. Um, sometimes I get mad and I do. But, like, on YouTube, I rarely ever do. And so that's not really a problem for me. But people who do, you're going to have to get your funding probably from different places. Because now the way that it works or the way it's appearing to work is that if you curse in your video, one, if you're monetized, they'll demonetize it. Two, if it's really bad, they'll make you take it off. And three, they're retroing this stuff back. So let's say you had started YouTube in 2004, right? You got like, I don't know, 1,200 videos, right? And out of the 1,200 videos, a 1,000 of them you cuss in, they may have demonetized all 1,000 of those videos. Because now the weight of the curse words are the same. Whereas before you might have been able to just say, you know, um, ASS or SHIT or whatever. And it was not really that big a deal, right? Well, now, if you say that or, you know, bitch or fuck or whatever, uh, apparently that holds the same water. All of them, they're all equal. So you may get away with saying hell and damn, but you're probably not going to get away with any of the others. Oh, and, and of course, some of this stuff doesn't even apply to me, but I'm like watching, I'm like, what, really? Um, and it doesn't even matter if you put that it's not for kids. It doesn't matter. Uh, the other thing is, is violence. So if you're on YouTube and you're a gamer and you're playing your game and that's your video or whatever, uh, yeah, you may get doc you may get docked for that. You may not get, you may get demonetized for that video. So I'm assuming, I don't know, cause you know, um, I only have a certain amount of followers, but I'm assuming then that means that, um, if you're monetized or whatever, um, you're going to have a lot of like, there's going to be a lot of things that you have to follow. And you might find yourself needing outside sponsors that sponsor your videos. Because YouTube is cracking down on lots of stuff. Not my rules. I'm just saying. If um, somebody really needs to know the video um, that I saw it on, I can get that for them. I just, it's just stuff that I saw. Let's see, what else? Um, hmm. Okay, so now I'm going to talk to those of you who are like me. Disabled, you've been feeling down, you haven't been going out of the house, winter sucks, just saying. If you're in California, you're like almost floating away, just saying. We got hurricanes, we got tornadoes, we got everything going on, right? And for those of us that are handicapped, we got a lot of other things that we are um, dealing with, especially if you deal with chronic pain or you deal with anything like that, because first of all, it is exhausting being in pain all the time. It just totally is. And when you um, can't do things that other people do on a normal basis, it is very defeating. Okay. I have been sitting here in the last couple of days and I've had a migraine. I've had some stuff going on. And all I wish I could do is lay in a bed. I used to lay, you know, how you put your head on top of your sh your hand and put your shoulder here and put your leg out. So it's kind of like, you know, on your stomach halfway kind of, you know, oh, I miss that so much. I miss it so much. I haven't been able to sleep in a bed in like, uh, let's see, 2022, 2016, maybe 2015 something like that. That's a long time. I have to sleep in a recliner because I have to be able to move myself constantly to try to get relief in some area. Um, but now that's all the crappy kind of stuff, you know, that and taking medicine and dealing with insurance companies and just all that stuff. It's crazy. But you know what? The past, mm, let's see, four or five years, I have really kind of felt that 
I was not worth it. Like, and what I mean by that is I didn't bother trying to fix my teeth. I didn't bother trying to get more physical therapy to help me with my legs or whatever. I didn't bother doing any exercise. I didn't bother doing anything that I didn't have to because I kept thinking, you know what? What is the point? I hurt all the time. Nobody cares. Everybody's life is moving ahead. I'm stuck here. Why would anybody want to talk to me? All I can talk to him about is the shows that I've watched on Netflix. <laughs> I'm just saying, okay? But you know what? I have a collab coming up uh, around the 21st of January, and it's going to be a New Year, New You collab, okay? And it's not really about resolutions so much. I mean, it could be, I guess, but mine's not going to be about that. Mine's going to be about the things that I'm going to try to do to help myself for the new year. But here's the rub. Not the rub. Here's the thing. If I don't want to do it, I'm not going to. If I do, I'm going to. Like, I've watched my sister. She fell last year, and she tore her rotator cuff. Not only in the back, but in the front. Like, her shoulder, literally, she couldn't even lift it, hardly, because there was no... She had... Nothing was hanging on. There was just bones now, okay? So, she had to have surgery. She had surgery in September, and she went to the doctor yesterday. It was the day before. And they told her that she's ahead of schedule on her therapy. And I have watched her do her physical therapy exercises three times a day, every day since they assigned them to her. And you know what? I was watching that and I was thinking, I'm watching her improve. And I saw her starting out and she would like, she started out and she was doing certain things and it was hurting her so bad. And then as she did them more and more, they became less and less painful. And the doctor gave her some more stuff and more stuff. And so when she went to the doctor this past couple, like Friday or Thursday, whatever, and he told her that she's a, she's way ahead, he said, now here's the thing, do not get overconfident. She goes, no, 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 I won't, but I am doing my exercises. I am doing what I can to feel better. And I've watched her do that and nonstop, three times a day since I think mm, two weeks after her surgery, maybe a month, I forget, anyway. And she's worked really, really hard. And she's doing very good. And I thought, you know what? I'm only two years older than her. Why should I accept my situation as what's the point? Because you know what? If I don't do anything for myself and I die tomorrow, I lose out on what I could have done today. If that makes sense. So, I'm going to start looking at uh, one of the things that I need to be able to do is climb into a car. And the thing is, is that I can't lift my leg up very much in order to do that. So, I'm going to try to start figuring out ways to do that. I told her to ask her, her physical therapist if he had any ideas about things I could do. I have a doctor's appointment on the 20th and I'm going to talk to my doctor about a couple things that um, I have thought about. One is... Uh, I'm going to have them test me for Lyme disease because I have a lot of the symptoms. And like five or six people have asked me during the last few years if I have it. And I'm going to ask him about physical therapy and see if they can have somebody come to my house and do physical therapy with me. So we'll see how that goes. But my point is, and the people that I'm talking to that have made it this long, I know this video is really long, is that we are worth it, okay? If you're disabled... Um, if you can't take care of yourself, if you need help, if you, um, whatever it is, okay, um, you deserve to have a life and you deserve to have a good quality of life and you can do what you can to make it that way, but to stop feeling like a burden. And as Sebastian says, I am not going to apologize for stuff that I'm not sorry for. I am not going to be the one that has to reach out to everybody else first. I am not going to be the one that uh, puts everybody's needs before mine. I am going to start taking care of myself. Because you know what? If I don't, who will? Right? Okay? So, I'm going to sit here with my vice. I do not smoke. I do not drink. I don't even use to drink soda. But you know what? I'm going to have me an orange pixie stick.
because I love orange pixie sticks. No other color, just orange. Yes, I am. And I might have um, an orange juice or whatever because I feel like it. Mm -hmm. So, it's a new year, y'all. 2023. I think we need to party like it's 1999. Just saying. So, anywho, like I said, I will link Sebastian's um, channel below. And again, like I said, he's he's into drama. I, I watch a lot of different uh, things. I'm not just about beauty and unboxings and crafts and all that. I watch a lot of stuff. I watch drama. I watch... I watch a lot of stuff. Um, so, if uh, you're interested, you can go check him out and maybe give him a few uh, like, like, love, love, like you do me. Or not, whatever. If it's not your cup of tea, that's okay too. But um, he makes me laugh. And because of him, I had like a little epiphany the other day. And I just want to kind of shout him out for it and kind of talk to y'all. So, yeah. All right. Remember, Kiki loves you.